Hey everyone, if you watched one of my last videos, we unclogged this big culvert about an hour ago. This might be a rare opportunity to go look for the Beaver Lodge. We talked to a park ranger today and there's a work order out to trap these beavers because they've been causing this issue from since May. They showed up and been flooding over the street. We just drained the flooded street and drained their pond. Park rangers were happy about it. Tell them how I film the work I do. Tell them how I often set trail cameras up to see the beavers. At first he thought I was a hunter. I was gonna ask for a, some kind of hunting license or whatever, trapping license, whatever you wanna call it. They were happy with my answer and they left. They will be trapping the beavers and relocating them somewhere or possibly eating them. But we're gonna take a walk down here and try to find the lodge. We'll get some rare footage of it not in the water. And there might be some angry beavers over there too that we may have to deal with. Draining this, there was a lot of leeches. You see this beaver dam and the other culvert, we only took one out because we just wanted it to get stop going across the road. You see how they build it? They put all kinds of mesh that they build out of sticks, small sticks, twigs, leaves, pricker bushes. They seal it with mud and leaves. Look at this. They pack it with big rocks. The foundation's also built with rocks. See how strong a beaver is? Look at this. It's a good 15 pounds or so. Probably weighs as much as close to two gallons of milk for a comparison. This is an eight foot culvert. This is about a five foot tall beaver dam. You see down there, these, those are all the beaver dams from last time. The, and there's also some excavator tracks from last time. The guy said they were hoping the beavers would go away if they keep removing the dam, but obviously that didn't happen. In order to encourage a beaver to completely abandon their home, you have to be dismantling it at least once a day and they'll get annoyed and leave. But in this situation, they do it like every month or two. I did it three weeks ago. The beaver is likely forgetting it even happened. Now you look back here, there was up here on the edge, probably two feet of water. We drained back about four feet of water today. Now we're walking around, look at this. There's no mud, not much, because this pond hasn't been here for long. I'm walking on a nice gravel bottom as the river right now reclaims. See this, they cut down all these trees, and I guess they're kind of running out. Last time it was easy to pull apart, big material. This time they incorporated a lot of pricker bushes, small twigs that snap back like a whip in your face. Took about three times as long to take out the dam today. Now you see the normal water is about where it is now before they flooded this. That's why all these trees are turning fall colors early and or dying because they're drowning. Not supposed to happen right now. I'm just gonna try to find the lodge. I don't know if that's possible or not. If I didn't do this, they would have just done it with excavators because I know somebody's gonna try to say something. Hey, you can't be doing that. Well, the park rangers, the people, who everyone s says, all my trolls who say I'll get arrested for it, well, those are the guys who would be arresting me. And they're happy. They love what I'm doing. Look at this. Years ago, the bee, oh, look at that, big spider. Ha ha. Almost touched that, see this? Tree's healing back. The beavers decided not to cut down that big tree. Decided it was too big for them. Woo! Alrighty. Where's the lodge? That's what we're trying to figure out. There's not many beavers here. Last time on the trail camera, we only saw one rebuilding the dam. It's not a big family, but one beaver rebuilt the dam a foot tall in three hours. I estimate this takes between three days and a week, what we took down today. See, no way I would have been able to walk out here four feet of water. See, this whole land right here was flooded before I started. Water was probably up to right here. Dropped it back about four feet. Now I'm searching for the lodge because the park rangers said they don't know where the lodge is. Because usually the time of year when there's no babies, they would dismantle it, destroy the lodge. And that would encourage the beavers not to come back. Look at us throughout here. All the cuttings. You see right here, there was a big flow of water coming through. And what the heck is this? What is this contraption? Got this big log here. 
anchored to that tree that the beaver cut. What is this? Were the park rangers trying to stop this from going in the culvert? You know, I bet that's what that is. You think the park rangers didn't want this big thing getting stuck down there? Why don't they cut it or grab it with their machinery when it's here clearing and just drop it in the woods somewhere? Okay, look at all this muck. You see, there's still little bit of bits of flow as the water table returns back to normal. A lot of these trees right now are in the process of dying. We're looking for the lodge. It's going to be a small lodge. There's not a ton of beavers. But I'm confident we can find it. This whole area here floods up. This obviously would be a shallow, more shallow area of the pond. Because we're going upstream. Here's a big pile of beaver debris. Already, they're going to drag it back tonight and plug it back up in a few hours. That's expected. Walking back up the stream. Look at this. The beavers are so prepared because the loggers and me do it so many times. Look at all this reserve they have built up. Honestly, that might not even be reserve. You know what that might be? The loggers unclogging another culvert upstream. Giving the beavers what they need to build this. Ooh. But what I'm doing, you gotta, re, you gotta research that before you throw debris into a culvert. A lot of times you guys will see me throwing the debris back into the culvert, but that's researched. Other times you'll see me throwing it next to it in a big pile. There's a reason for that. You gotta get on the maps and see what's downstream. If it's the last culvert before a major river, before the ocean, let it go. If there's more culverts, Nah, probably not a good idea. This leads into a pond about a quarter mile past this culvert with no other roads in its way. The debris will get swept down there during a storm and because it's already waterlogged, sink in the pond. Look at all this beaver debris here. Looks like they're trying to make another dam right here. Now this area here, there would only be like another foot on top of it. And this would likely be where the beaver dam or beaver lodge is because they put it in shallow water because the majority of the lodge is above water. That's what I'm trying to find right now. Got some fish beds too. Where are these guys hiding? Going pretty deep in this swamp today. This area here, by the evidence, only dropped back maybe eight inches. A lot of dead earthworms, too. I don't know. It's cool walking around out here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Almost fell, but that tree caught me. I've only seen a beaver lodge once exposed from the water during a severe drought. It's nothing too special, but you can see the entrance. Honestly, one of these piles, something like this, could actually be an old lodge with plants growing on top of it, disguised. And that might be why the park rangers were unable to find it too. I'll give it a little look for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna go up this other channel. If I don't see anything, eh, that'll be it. Walking up the other canal now. So this is all basically an island, or it is now. It wasn't when it was flooded. Walking up the other side. Lots of beaver trimmings. Looks promising. See the beaver trimmings on that? Oh, this looks this looks very promising. Yes, it does. Ooh, spider webs. Because up here, look at this, the secondary dam. Getting hard to walk in here. And there's going to be some angry beavers too. Oop. 
Climb up on top. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we're getting close. Yes, we're getting close. I just saw one up there splash or dive. Look at this tree. See this? This big tree uprooted. It took this one with it. Oh. Oh. See that? See the waves? Beaver Lodge is right here. Beaver Lodge is right here. I'm not scared of them at all. Yes, that's the lodge. They're evacuating. Oh, yes, it is. Look. Oh, my gosh. Look how close I am. I thought that was the entrance. Look. This is an entrance. Look at this. This is the whole Beaver Lodge. Look at it. Look at it. This is one of the entrances. They saw me coming, and they evacuated right there. That's what those splashes were. The beavers right now are at a vulnerable state. Oh. Woo! 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 A pissed off beaver. Oh, oh wow, oh. Oh. that was a warning, <laughs> that was a warning there, oh that was so cool to get on camera, that was a big boy, the one we saw tra on the trail camera last time was just a little, like a small juvenile, that one was huge and it scared the crap out of me. You saw that thing go splash, 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 and it go real. Okay, so that one there is the powerhouse of this operation. So I was wondering, the one last time on trail camera, how was that thing moving some of these big rocks? Because it was struggling. You saw this one was huge. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. And now you see. I'm never gonna do that again. That was awesome to get on camera. I'm not gonna do it again. They are pissed because they lost four feet of water today. They're gonna be even more pissed when they're trapped and relocated by the park rangers and logging company so it doesn't take out this road. That was pretty awesome. Good thing I'm wearing these boots would protect me if they tried to bite me because there's a lot of like loose boot <sighs> yep oh I hear splashing down there someone's coming make sure I stay on the edge out of the water so I'll see them if they show up Ooh. <laughs> wow all right hope this video was interesting thanks for watching we're gonna get out of the water now. But you saw that beaver was angry. If I didn't move, I'm sure it would have tried to bite my foot. But that's why I got steel toe, steel sole. It would have to bite through at a pretty good spot. Thanks for watching. We're back to the culvert pipe. About one hour after unclogging it, our friend the beaver's here. And I, I recognize this guy. This is the same guy who chased me. Where is it? It's in that mud somewhere. I saw it come over here, but it didn't leave. Maybe it's hiding in there? Let's see what this guy's been up to in one hour. Has not built anything yet, but they're investigating. Oh, there it is. See the bubbles? Oh, there's the beaver. There's the beaver. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, look at that thing. That thing's pretty big. I recognize that guy. It's hiding under the stump from me. See it? See its tail right there? Underneath? Center of the screen? Let's go see it. This guy's building a dam. I see its flat tail under that stump. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You can see right here? 
you know that is in the center of the screen it's taking handfuls of mud it's preparing oop, oop. oh see it right there oh look at the bubbles can't see it here i gotta get back up high with a high point of view see that movement that's the beaver look at it This is a big fella compared to the little baby we caught on camera last time. It's wondering how it, that little guy was able to move the rocks. This one's pretty big. It notices us, so we're so it's leaving. Going heading back to the lodge. I'm sure within a day or two they'll get this swamp back up. We dropped it like four feet today. And we're gonna stop by here again in the morning and see their progress. I'm sure by morning they're gonna have probably at least a foot or two of dam rebuilt. Oh, that, that beaver got up there pretty far. You could see it up there. Hey everyone, we're back the next morning to see what the beavers have built. The first time we took this dam down, I left their foundation. So within three hours, it was already a foot tall. This time I destroyed the rock foundation, brought it back down to riverbed. And I'm going to show what they did in almost 24 hours. Barely anything, and I'm so surprised. See? That's all they did. Just a few little sticks. You can, you can see them starting to rebuild the foundation with some new rocks. They just have to get this stuck. That's the challenge. Last time I left the foundation so they could just start building immediately. Not this time. And, in fact, because there's no foundation, some of the stuff, look at it, some of their brand new material that they were building last night even got washed down there. So this time, it's not going to just go up in a few days like the other one. It's going to take probably a week or two to re-flood the swamp. But they'll do it. Thanks for watching.